Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. It's trying hard to come out. I was really banking a lot on it coming out today. Uh, I ran the the 24 volt gas generator for a little bit this morning. Usually I run the diesel for two hours and that's it. That's all I need. Then even this much sun will finish off and condition the batteries. It's got to feel good, doesn't it? All right. So I ran the generator, the gas generator, and because the batteries were 89% state of charge, the gas generator was only putting out 25 amps because the batteries were almost full. So an hour and 15 minutes later when I came out, it was down to 10 amps. So, and it had put exactly 10 amp hours in, in that hour and 15 minute period. And uh, that's because the house is using at the same time when you run the gas 24 volt generator. But when you run the diesel, it's charging through the inverter charger. It's putting 70 amps on the inverter charger and passing 30 amps, 120 AC directly to the house. Big difference. And I'm getting eight hours out of a gallon of diesel. And it just... Pretty much that gas generator has a few times when it, I might use it, but mostly it's a backup. And of course, if my batteries were at 50%, it would be putting out uh, 65 amps. And how long it will put out 65 amps before it burns up um, is yet to be seen. It's not designed for that. I do have one on my watch list. It's actually... Uh, uh, made for a MRAP, that sort of thing, for the military. It's 20, 400 amps, 24 volt. Uh, actually, 28.7 volts, 400 amps. And it takes 22 horsepower to get full amperage out of it. But my diesel should do pretty good. It should make, a, my spare diesel that I have down there, it should make um, 200 amps wide open at 1500 rpm with a little bit of shiv interchange so i've already uh, seen a video of someone doing that it worked out pretty good for him but it's going to be 450 dollars getting it here and it's just not priority right now i have sufficient backup as it is so i'm getting nine amps of solar and i've made 14.7 amp hours today and we're in a state of charge, 26.4 volts. I'm putting 5 amps into the battery bank. So the house is using 4.3 amps. I'm at 91%. And the amp hours that are missing, you see a little minus sign, minus 73 amp hours. Days since charge, yesterday. Days since equalized, three uh, watts coming into the battery bank right now, 152 watts. Uh, my wife's shop's going right now. Uh, I think her wax pot is going and the lights are on in there. It's heated with propane. So the percentage replaced today, 14%. Mm, not very much. So this is one of those days, I'm at 91%, and I'm just going to let it ride. And whatever solar we get, we get. And I'm supposed to have sun in the afternoons for the next four days. And if I end up cycling my batteries deeper than normal, it'll be good for them. They've never been lower than 88% state of charge. And from my understanding, sometimes you got to take them down to 70 some even say take them down to 60 oh, once or twice a year. I haven't done that, but uh, I have taken them down. Uh, I think one time I was at 87. Got up this morning, they were 89% state of charge. And that's pretty typical, 89 to 
run the Jenny for two hours and I never have to be concerned with it. And it's only, well, last year's 27 gallons of diesel for the whole year. So I don't use the generator very much for almost two months, two hours a day for two months. And then I put it away for the whole year. Not even really enough to get to the point where you're supposed to change the oil on that Yanmar. It's not enough hours to change the oil. I will, but technically it goes longer than that. Isn't that fun? That's going to be a fun thing to get down. I kind of like it, really. <laughs> I'm weird that way, I know. All right. Have a very blessed day.